Prepare to embark on an adventure in a land where fantasy meets reality. A magical land created by the divine arbiter, Soa. Soa brought forth a divine tree to bear fruit to a barren and lifeless world. In all, 108 fruits were born from Soa's divine tree. From these fruits came 108 races. Of these, dragons were the 105th race, humans the 106th, and the superhuman winglies the 107th. Who or exactly what the mysterious 108th was remained a mystery. The 108th race, or Virage, as it was called, was told to be the god of destruction in legends handed down through the generations. But why would Soa create simply to destroy it all in the end? Regardless of the god's reasoning, peace reigned endless for many millennia, but it was not to be forever. A great war once raged on this beautiful land. It came to be known as the Dragon Campaign. The Winglies had become too powerful, enslaving not only humans, but other races as well. Over time, humans could no longer tolerate slavery to the Winglies. Under the guidance of Emperor Diaz and the aid of the dragons, the humans fought a war to end all wars. Humans learned to harness the spirit and powers of the dragons, transforming themselves into dragoons. Several warriors fought to bring back peace and equality to a land gone awry. The Winglies were led by Melbu Frama, who harnessed the power of the God of Destruction. This was the main source of the Wingly magic. Commanded by Zeke, the Red-Eyed Dragoon, Rose and her other five courageous dragoons fought in the Wingly's floating palace. It was Zeke who delivered the killing blow to Melbu Frama. The dragoon impaled the Wingly Emperor with a thrust from his sword, but with his last ounce of energy, Melbu cast the spell of petrification on Zeke. The Red Eye gave his life to save the others. Only Rose lived to tell of the Dragon Campaign. Hello everyone and welcome to our first episode of The Legend of Dragoon right here on Missledyne Online. This game is from 2000 for the original PlayStation and is one of my personal favorite RPGs ever on the system, probably ever in general. It is so ridiculously good and yes, it has aged quite a bit. Uh, but if you've never seen this game before, I think you are in for quite a treat. And if you have seen this game before, well, then enjoy the nostalgia that you'll get. And maybe, maybe you'll learn something. Maybe you'll want to replay it again. I am playing on the PlayStation 3, the PlayStation Network version of the game. Uh, I'm not actually using the disc, although I do own them. So, let's get it started. This is going to be a 100% playthrough. That means all secret bosses, all stardust, all equipment, and the most powerful team you can possibly imagine to take down the hardest boss in the game. Uh, but of course, we will be doing this uh, as we go. Edited series, no grinding. I'll be editing out all of the the monotonous stuff. Anything that seems a little, I don't know, unnecessary, I will be getting rid of. So, welcome to Endness. Let's get into the legend of Dragoon. So, this is her. Mm, indeed. 
put her in custody. Is this really necessary? It is His Majesty, Emperor Dole's command, to take that girl into custody. Who is she? That is not your concern. Now you may be asking yourself, who's the man in the hood? But I think the more important question you should be asking yourself is, who's the Mothman? No, seriously, that commander guy looks like a moth. I just noticed that for the first time ever. It's crazy. Who do we have here? Ah, yes. The Green Tusk Tick looking flea thing? The Green Tusk Dragon Fairbrand. Chapter 1 The Serdian War. The Serdian? I thought we were on Endinus. Endonese? How do you say that? And of course we get our hero, Dart. Hmm. Chance of war more likely. I hope it's just a rumor. What is that? Oh, proof that that's not a rumor at all. Who are you? Are you a mercenary of Basil? Answer! Whoa, what are you doing? Are you drawing a sword against us? What? What is... It's the flea! What the heck is this? <laughs> it really does look like a flea. I gotta do something or I'll be killed. Do, do, do. Isn't the music so good? I love the music in this game. It's fantastic. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. This is, I gotta say, one of the weirdest designed dragons I've ever seen. I've always thought that. He always, to me, has looked like a giant termite or a giant, giant flea. Uh, never a dragon. What a monster. It's coming. Dart, run. Oh, no. This is it. Oh, who are you? Hello? Who are you? God, the music, though. Am, am I right or am I right? It's so good. Thank you for saving me. What the heck was that? It's a dragon. Dragon? But it's strange. It looks like a flea. That village could have easily been destroyed without a dragon. The village? Are you talking about Selyse? Then those soldiers were... There won't be anything left by now. Selyse is my village. Oh my god. That man must be... No. 
There's no way. A glowing stone? Whatever could that mean? Our village up in smoke. Oh no! My god! Where is everybody? And for the first time, we get control of our character, Darts! And let's hop over here. Look at that beautiful exclamation mark. Huh? What is this? You didn't get enough killing. <laughs> it may be enough if I kill you. Stop! Oh, mercenary. Isn't it a little late for you to show up? Shut up! What are you doing here? Can't you see? We're gonna occupy this area, and these worms were in our way. Occupy? Were you sent by the Imperial Army? Even if we were, it's none of your business. You're gonna die soon. And our first ever battle in the Legend of Dragoon. And yes, uh, if my voice acting annoys you, I'm so sorry. Um, I'm, I really apologize. Anyways, welcome to our first battle. This is uh, one of the things that really sets Legend of Dragoon apart from other RPGs, I feel. One damage, oh my. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and attack this Knight of Sandora because he hasn't attacked yet. Here is the big thing. Here is something that you have to familiarize yourself with if you want to kick butt in this game, and that is called the additions. The addition system is is the combat. Oh, just I'll just I'll just do it and show you. Ready? Perfect timing! Double slash. That's right, every single attack in this game is uh, timed for the most part. So anytime you attack with the attack button, you will use a addition. There's a bunch of different ones throughout the game. The one that Dart is currently using is called Double Slash. And we'll, don't worry, there's other ones. There's plenty of them. Uh, but right now, that's the one that we're using. That's the one that we're gonna be perfecting. Yeah, I'll get into it a little bit later. So for winning that fight, we got six gold, four experience, and two healing potions. All right, don't mind if I do. And, of course, the knowledge that we just defeated two Imperial soldiers, and who the hell are we? Are... are you really... Dart? Yes, it's me. Why is Selyse under attack? Or... Imperial Sandora attacked us. What about the truce? Yeah. Suddenly, I, I didn't imagine. They could come to such an outlying area. If only I had come back sooner. There is something you have to do. Shayna, rescue Shayna. Only you can. Uh, uh. What about Shayna? Hey, wait! <sighs> He's dead, Jim. He's dead, Jim. She's dead, Jim. Well, right up here, we can go ahead and open our first chest, which is going to contain an attack magic item called Burnout. So that is the first one that we can get. And right here, of course, it's a save point. I recommend saving anytime you possibly can. And while we're sitting here saving, I think this is a pretty important thing. Let's go ahead and look at our menu. I'm gonna walk through this real quick, so if you don't, if you don't want to watch it, just skip ahead like a minute. Uh, this chapter one, Sirtium Wars. It kind of tells you where you are in the story, and it also tells you where you are in the world, the geography. So let's go through status real quick. Shows all of your characters, uh, which we don't. We only currently have Dart in the party. Uh, it shows what you currently have equipped, the magic that you have and that you can use, uh, the experience that you need to level up. MP, HP, all that stuff. We also see Dragoon level, D level, right underneath Dart. Don't worry about that right now. SP, don't worry about that right now. The column that says Dragoon, don't worry about it. Uh, the stats going down the list is AT, attack, defense, magic attack, magic defense, speed, uh, attack, physical, uh, hit percent, magic hit percent, 
uh, how much your chance is. And then the bottom two are actually your avoidance. So how much you can uh, evade physical attacks or magic attacks, anything like that. Uh, we'll be keeping track of these stats as we go throughout the game. But it's important to think of those uh, as we go. Goods, those are basically key items that you can get. And I want to pay attention to this one in particular, Father's Stone. A mysterious stone from Dart's father glows when held. Didn't the woman we saw earlier, didn't her stone glow? What about that stone that was held above Shayna's head? That might glow. Uh, we also have a list here. Don't worry about it too much. And, of course, items that we can use. Healing potions. Uh, any, any other items that you can use in the field. Armed, it'll just show you your equipment list. Uh, additions. This is the cool one. So every character has a bunch of different additions that they can use. Uh, Dart right now can only use Double Slash. This also levels up so you can see what level it is now the addition uh which whichever one uh how much sp you get again don't worry about that right now damage percent how much it, it modifies your attack damage and uh how many until the next level so we have two uh out of 20 super super important replace don't worry about it config you can do whatever you want here i these are my stats uh just so you know moving on let's continue to this green arrow green arrow Oh, another dead old man. Oh, I know him. Plus. Hang on. Look at that crow. Look at the textures on that crow. Unbelievable. That voice. Is that you, Dart? This way. You're, you're not dead. This is good news. It's just a light wound. Some would say, a flesh wound. I guess I was lucky. But look at this village. If only you had come back earlier. Wow. The one thing we're sensitive about, dude. Dot, dot, dot. It's about Shayna, too. What's wrong with Shayna? She was taken away. It seems Shayna was their primary purpose. Do you know where they went? I don't know. And guess who it is? That's right, it's Mothman Prophecies. I don't know why this guy looks like a moth and why I never noticed it before. I'm gonna make him talk. Besting a private is no reason to be confident. Where did you take Shayna? Shayna? Huh, don't worry about her. She must be receiving the courtesies of Helena Prison by now. Helena? Surprised, huh? We specifically invited only that woman. You must be kidding. You attacked the village only to kidnap Shayna? Exactly. But don't worry. I'll let you follow them, although not to Helena. To hell! <laughs> the best line in the game, so good. Not to hell in a prison, but to hell. Welcome to our first boss fight. I guess you can call this a boss fight against the Commander Mothman. It blows my mind. He literally looks like a moth. Uh, anyways, this is going to pit us against the Commander and two Knights of Sandora. Don't worry, though. I'll show you in a second what's going to happen, all right? So when they run over to you and attack like that, they'll actually do three damage, which is not ideal. Let's go ahead and attack one real quick. Yes. Nail that addition no. system. He's going to go ahead and use a magic attack on us. This is called Burnout. Don't worry, I'll show you what it actually does later. He's going to use that on me right now, which is going to do a tremendous 7 damage. We're going to not attack the other Knight of Sandora at all. We're going to go ahead and attack the Commander. Yes. Double flash. Because he'll run away. That's awfully cheeky of you. <laughs> the voice. Here. He powers up and he hits us with a solid six. That's okay though, we're gonna go ahead and hit him with another five. Yes. Now he only has about 15 health, so you'll be able to take him down pretty easily. Actually, if we look at him, we'll see that he's in yellow. Interesting. Yes. Yeah! Done! Down he goes. Now he can actually heal in this fight, and I'll be honest with you, it is actually possible to die fighting the commander, just so you know, so, so don't do that. Don't embarrass yourself in an LP. 
Uh, you get 24 experience and 26 gold, two healing potions, and a burnout, meaning we will hit level two and learn a new addition, Volcano New Edition. That's so basic looking, that text that just shut. Crazy. Ah, oh, 2000s, man. What a great time. Britney Spears was like the bee's knees, I think. Dart, you are going to rescue Shayna, aren't you? I won't stop you, but be careful. Your journey is not yet over, is it? No. You can count on us about Celise. There should be enough people who can still move. <laughs> Funny. Thank you. When I settle everything, I'll be back. And in greater numbers with Shayna. <laughs> As he dies, no, I'm just kidding. He's not dead, he's not dead, okay? Everybody chill. We didn't lose Plos. Uh, but we do have control of our character, as you can see. Now, these green arrows are pretty important. You can actually, uh, well, maybe I'm wrong. I could have sworn you can actually make them go away with select, but that, uh... I made, I... Oh, uh, hitting R1 will actually make them reappear. And, and disappear. So it's R1. That, I knew there was a button I was using. You can take care of the village. Focus on Shayna and yourself. Uh, there's also... This is revenge for everyone! Revenge! Okay, kids. Stop it. It's me. Is it John? Isha. What a pretty name. Both of you have grown up. Dart. Sandora. Sandora got everybody. I got them. Everything is okay now. Everybody's dead! Not everybody. What? Not everyone was killed. So you have to help the people in the village. I will rescue Shayna. Indeed. Do what you can. I'll get medical herbs. Me too! What? Look at those. Oh, what a good... What good kids. Lo and I can take care of what's going on here. So you can't actually go into any of these village. And she'll just keep telling you. Isha will just keep telling you to go rescue... Uh, uh, go, go rescue, um, uh, Shayna. There's no items or anything that you can get in here. You can talk to her again. She's not gonna say anything. Floss isn't gonna say anything extra at all. Uh, and, but there is actually some items that we can get. Well, one in particular that is super, super important. Let's actually go get that right now. Right in front of, uh, not this one. But right in front of here. What's this? This is super important. And yes, we will be collecting all of them throughout the game. This is a Stardust, the very first one that you can find in the game. If you missed it, don't worry. You can come back here later and get it at pretty much any time. This is the best time to get it, though. I wonder how Shayna is doing. She did. Please, please, please go rescue Shayna quickly, okay? It was a nightmare. The fire set by Sandora scorched the entire village to the ground. Yeah, no, you aren't joking. You are, like, it's bad, man. This whole place is on, it's bad. Uh, Dart, you shamelessly came back. Because you weren't here, I... Damn! What are you gonna do about my feelings towards Shayna? I don't care. You should have come back earlier, for Shayna's sake. For your feelings towards Shayna? Are you kidding me? Wow. What a jerk. Now, I thought there was something in this well, but I, apparently I'm wrong. Uh, more importantly, we can go over and talk to this woman over here who looks like a blueberry? We wanted to ask from help, uh, for help from Endel's castle, but they say there is a guardian living in the limestone cave on the way, and we couldn't go. Interesting. A guardian in limestone cave at... And, okay, good to know. Master Tasman! You... You are darts! You are safe! I taught you how to use the sword. I won't be killed so easily. But we were outnumbered. I couldn't stop them by myself. You already heard about Shayna. Indeed. I am heading to Helena. Then have a match with me before you go. I want to see if you have the ability to rescue Shayna. Master, don't be silly. Yes, Master! Please. Yes, Master. Please. Then show your true power. Don't even think about being easy on me because of my injury. Shall we begin? Yes, and we can kill him. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so this is the guy who trained Dart. Makes sense. We were wondering how Dart was so good with a sword, and it's because of Master Tasman. 
Now, don't worry, even though we're low on health, it doesn't matter. Uh, I will remind you about the ABCs of sword fighting I taught you. The ABCs, it's as easy as addition skills. Select attack command, then the timing site appears. Showed you guys this earlier. When this site overlaps the square in the center, press the X button. Gray means too fast, blue means too slow, and white means perfect. All right, ready? Now come on. So he's just gonna have us attack him, just to show him. Oh, I messed up. Uh, just to show him that we know how to use the. Um, uh, yeah, let me let's just, let's just do it again, just so I can show you. So all you have to do is just attack him. And that is Volcano, the new one that we just learned. How are you doing? One more time? No, 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 no. I'm fine now. I'm fine now, Master. Uh, this is important about counterattacking. Let's go ahead and talk about that. Enemies don't wait around to be attacked. Sometimes they fight back. During the attack, they might show hints of a counterattack, which you have to switch to square for. Press oh, press the circle button. My bad. Uh, when the red when the red counterattack site appears overlaying the square. Failure exposes you to an attack and you're blown away. A multiple attack ends there. Now, come on. Okay, ready? Oops. <laughs> All right, come on, come on. Come on, Corey. You guys ready? Let me let me do this uh, let me do this again. Uh, show me again. This is important, guys, okay? There's the counterattack. Second time's the charm every time. Yes, good. You can see how much damage Volcano does compared to Double Slash, by the way. Uh, no, that's enough. We're good, Master Tasman. Uh, next, let's talk about defense. Tactics are not merely swinging the sword. During bad times, defend and wait for a chance. Defending helps recover HP a little and halves the damage that you take. Also, it completely protects against attacks that cause an abnormal status. This is super important later on in the game. Obtaining additions. Let's see what he says. Combat experience lets you learn new skills. The more experience you get, the more additions you will be able to get. I already showed all this. Select the skill before the battle. You can't change in the battle. That's pretty much it for uh, for Mr. Tasman here. Some skills are easy, some are hard. There are some additions in this game I need you guys to know right now that I just can't do. Like, it is so hard for me and I don't know why. I struggle bust every single time. Um, a character later on has something called the Gust of Wind Dance. Uh, I, I can't do it, man. I just can't do it. And you guys will judge me for that. And it's fine. I get it. I'm judging you right now. So that's everything from Master Tasman. I'm gonna go on a journey soon. If you think you need to practice more, ask me now. And um, it's worth mentioning that we will actually never see him ever again. Uh, <laughs> he just doesn't ever appear. If there was no guardian living in the limestone cave, I would go ask for help immediately. Uh, we can ask him again what's going on, and he'll just ask us if you if we want to practice. Like, but like, no, dude, we're good. You know, we're totally good. Once you have control of Dart again after that, and you're done talking and exploring and saving and maybe use a health potion, whatever you want to do, let's head north out of Celis. Celis? That's the other thing. There's a lot of things I have no idea how to pronounce. Helena Prison. But not to Helena, to hell! Look at it, doesn't it look so cool? I have like no idea what it is though. Is it a stone? I don't, I don't. I don't know, it almost looks like a crashed ship of some kind. Look at the rat! Oh my god, 2000s, hello! Wow. Be good in there! <laughs> Poor Shayna. Well, now we know where Shayna is, and we know that she is probably deep in hell in a prison. Who the heck is the girl? You can tell me. The world's future rests on her. That's it? This is enough information for you. Those of you who do not grasp the value should just do what the order says. I'm not taking your orders. Only His Majesty Duel can order me. Anyway. You must remember this. If you make a scratch on her, it'll cost more than your head. 
This is a message from Emperor Dole. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, it gives you a little insight into who Frugal is. Who is the man in, in the hood? Ready? Ready for the world map? South of Serdio. Now, you can go through the other way uh, that we came in, but there's there's nothing over there. Uh, just to show you where that actually leads. Look at where we are in this big old world, my friends. Look at where we are. Uh, let's go ahead and head into the forest. Now, you can get into random battles out on the world map that we were just in. You can do that. That will happen. Um, but don't worry about it. We're actually going to do some leveling up. That's going to be pretty important. Uh, not too much here at all. Probably only like a level or two. Look at these little bunnies running around. I love it. Also, go ahead and be sure to talk to this merchant because he will see this guy around a lot. I lost the squirrel. Oh, well. In these troubled times, you have to protect yourself. What do you think? Want to buy something? Yeah, let's buy some stuff. So this is actually a, a pretty decent time to buy some, maybe I wouldn't buy any charm potions or anything like that because you want to level up right now. So don't worry about that. Body purifiers though, a wonderful idea. Uh, let's go ahead and see. Yeah, let's, let's, yeah, I want to buy, let's buy two. Uh, we only have 32 gold, so I don't want to buy too much, but I think that's good. Don't you want to know how to use the items? I could teach you that. No, that's okay. I can teach you guys that. It's pretty easy to use the items. Uh, but over here, we can go ahead and grab another item, which is a healing potion. Now, you guys are actually going to notice, you see the arrow above my head right now and how it's super red? Also, what is following me? Is that a... That's a big-ass rabbit. Uh, it's red because that means we're super close to a random encounter. Do, 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 do. Uh, there are uh, four enemies that we can actually fight here. A bar sock mouse, an assassin cock, which is right there. So is the mouse, a goblin, and a trent. Uh, we'll probably fall a berserk mouse. I'm sorry. I thought it was a bar sock. Interesting. Uh, but we uh, do have the assassin cock. And you'll notice that I'm using double slash. The reason for that is because I like to, while the game is easier, I like to use the less powerful additions, you know what I mean? Oops, my bad. Uh, I like to use the less powerful additions just because, like I said, those also have a level up mechanic to them. So the more you level those up, the faster you do, the better you'll be, trust me. Uh, so we'll go ahead, take that XP and that gold, and move on. Uh, it is really worth leveling, I think so, at least to level 3, potentially even level 4. Uh, I'll just show you, too, that we do have this addition now, Volcano, that we could equip. It does do tremendously more damage, and the ad that's there shows you, like, how many moves are actually in the addition. Um, but you can see 200% increased damage, less SP. We don't really need SP now, so it's not that big of a deal, but we'll be able to level up Double Slash a lot before Volcano is even really necessary. Uh, so let's go ahead and move on. We got the item that we could get here, which was the healing potion. I love the music in here. And we can go ahead and grab this right here, which will uh, be an, a charm potion. This is the thing that reduces your uh, chance of random encounters, which we will be using in this game, just not anytime soon. Look at this view, by the way. You can like see the ocean or the lake in the background. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. The other thing that is uh, worth mentioning, uh, or <laughs> the other thing that I should tell you guys, uh, is actually this really cool story. I think it's cool anyways about my first experience with this game. I, it was 2000, so I was about nine years old, and I went to Circuit City, I know, uh, Circuit City, do those exist anymore? Uh, and they had a demo for this game sitting there. And it, you, I was in this area because the demo was only this area, like the woods that we're in right now. It was only this area, but you were 100, you had your full team and you were always, or you had at least two members with you. And everybody was, permanently in their dragoon forms that we don't have yet of course uh and it was oh my god just a, an amazing experience they look so cool at that time right see these big dudes with wings and armor and ever oh it's so cool it's beautiful uh and and it's funny now being in the same area and being like i am nowhere near as powerful as i was in that demo <laughs> you were doing like thousands of damage there it was crazy uh so level three we hit level three which is awesome so i would say level three level four 
uh, any of those and you'll be you'll be pretty good um, I don't think there's anything else I really wanted to show you I do want to show you the all of the enemies that I can the Trent the what you calls it um, this is like a little mini maze area and I'm pretty sure we can run through and gather all of the items that we possibly can here uh, including a 20 20 gil 20 gold this will bring us back out over here uh, and I think it's this top one um, Wait, am I wrong? Maybe it's this lower one here that will actually bring us to where I want to go. There it is. That's what I thought. Uh, which will contain another burnout, which is another on-use magic item that inflicts fire damage. Uh, I should show you what those do at some point. Maybe not in this episode, but in the future for sure. And we're nearing the end. Look at the little rabbit on the tree thing. Squirrel? I guess they're squirrel. I don't know if they're squirrels or rabbits. Uh, we're going to hang on just grab this last thing. I would like to hit level four. I'm probably going to grind to level four. All right. So I'm about done with my training. I need about 30 more experience to hit level four. But more importantly, uh, my double slash is almost to level two. And that, my friends, is actually very, very good news. Now, something that I want to show real quick uh, that I actually realized that I could do while I was doing it um, was... Uh, actually, let me go ahead and just kill this because it does more damage. Uh, I can show you something. So, don't use any healing potions or anything right now at all. You just don't need them. So, this guy does one damage. What's guard? Every single time we guard right now, we're getting 10% of our health back, and he does zero damage. The mouse does zero damage when guarding. So, you can get back to full health, no problem. Making this a really, really easy area to level up, because these berserk mice just, just can't do any damage to you at all. Uh, so I wanted to show that real quick and why uh, why this is actually a really good spot to do this. Later on, that's not going to be a thing. Enemies are always going to be doing damage to you. Always. Uh, so we have one more time to use Double Slash, and then it will actually hit level 2 already, which is, which is super quick. Uh, very, very exciting for that. So let me skip ahead until level 2 is learned. And there we go. Our last fights here in the forest, hopefully. Uh, and we're at 83. We're almost level 4, so it's not that big of a deal. We got some money. Also, not that big of a deal, because it's like we're not going to be spending too much of it anytime soon. Uh, but let me go ahead and show you that our addition has leveled up for the first time ever. It now does 157% damage. It did 150 before. I know, crazy! Uh, yes, that's not much. However, you do need to level these up to level 5. All of them, which is the highest they can go. Trust me, you're going to want to do that. Uh, throughout the game. It's very, very important to max out your characters and make them as strong as possible. To do that, you need to do, you need to, you need to listen. You, just do it, okay? All right? Moving on. Let's go down this stump. Oh, no. Is that Bean? I have no time to deal with you. It reminds me, though, of this time when I was a child. Wait. This way, this way. Sheena? That's Sheena and Dart. Oh, exact same, exact, that reminds you of the, cut it out, leave Sheena alone. Leave Sheena alone. Hang in there. I'll get you out from there. Let's go to hell in a prison. In, of course, the next, the next episode. So then we have a, a little bit of a long path to go. For one more, oh, can we do it? Oh, well, done with that. All right, as I was saying, continue out. And we'll find ourselves back on the world map south of Sergio. Uh, if we can go down this way. Now, you'll notice that there's these green little... Those actually depict where a path will open. We don't have any of those yet. But right in front of us, you will see that we have Helena Prison. And, of course, random battles on the world map because I was trying to explain something. Look at how close we are to level four. We're four experience away. I just want to point that out. Just, just to say... Just to say something. So you can also save on the world map, which is something that is probably worth mentioning to all you nerds that are watching. So, uh, to recap, our village of Salise was attacked. We are Dart. The Imperial Army seems to be the ones that did this under orders of Emperor Dole to, re uh, to kidnap Shayna, and she's the one... 
I don't really know yet. Well, I know, but you don't know. Uh, this will be the longest of these videos, usually, that we do. Uh, you can expect most of these to be about 20 minutes. I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of The Legend of Dragoon. Legend of Dragoon on the PlayStation 1. Uh, I loved it. It was so awesome. Uh, uh, I'm really, really excited to get this series out. I'm hoping to do a, a video a day, uh, but we'll see if I can keep up on that schedule. Thank you guys so much for just a dollar a month, by the way. You can support the channel and get early access to all of these videos by going to patreon.com slash online. Thank you guys so much for watching, and remember, never give up, never surrender to the Imperial Army.